That's a morning uh, video log. Start eight one zero six dash nine. I'm gonna walk this way. I think I don't usually go down here. Is that, eh? Whoa. I don't feel like there's much to talk about. Perhaps seen in the right light, the world as much as it has always been. Most of us have seen a lot in the course of our lifetimes. How other human beings regulate emotions. How human beings respond to stress. How human beings respond to social pressure. How social pressure can be induced. And if you're like me, uh, you encounter most people who, God bless them, just don't have any time or inclination to look at distinctions between how they've learned to think and what they, what they could actually could be thinking about on any given day. And beautiful golden eagle flying out there. You know, nobody has to live the way that they do. Nobody has to live the way that they do. I don't see any. Oh, a, lots of eagles out there. There's lots of uh, institutions, lots of government institutions, corporations. Money's a pretty big deal. I'm just, this is sort of life 101 if you're new to planet Earth, which nobody really is. Nothing and no one is new to planet Earth. There are no young souls here. What a, what a weird fucking concept. That probably comes out of Christianity. Young souls. You're as young and as old as I suppose you've ever been. Is, is, the, is the newborn Robin young? Is all that is Robin young? And as much as that newborn bird, Robin is born with all that a Robin is, that Robin is not young. Not just young. We live in a world where people are told stars are billions of light years away and nobody questions it. People can tell you anything if they're called a scientist as much as someone could tell you anything if they were called a priest 3,000 years ago. It's no different. There's no different. When religion becomes sophisticated enough, it becomes a science. That's all. And so, science and religion have never really been separate, never truly been separate. Um, religion is a kind of science, and science is a kind of religion. Like the science of influencing the mind. Right? One person looks out in the world, maybe he's scared, maybe he doesn't know what life is, maybe he doesn't know how to live his life. A lot of young people look for codes to live by, gangs to live by, unspoken codes, all kinds of things. This is all generally trained by the society because gangs of young men and gangs of women are just proto, uh, prototype military units. It's 
So we're... From a young age, we are, uh, we get the impression that we're supposed to be cared for, and it feels good. I imagine that being so open and vulnerable as a child and receiving lots of care and attention. Oh, hi. Hey, Louise. How do you like the new place? I love it. Good. My shirt. So this is a weird, fucked up narcissist and now approaching. I'm going to put the camera down. I was wondering when I'd see you here. Yeah. So I'm glad you're settled. Oh. You're back, back where you belong, eh? Oh, God. I've got the back perfect, home. perfect apartment. Why? Good. Wow, you're tanned. Have a seat if you like. You've, you've been, I won't I've say, been outside I'm, a lot. I'm supposed to be doing my exercises right now. So. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, it's all. Yeah, it's, it's all really nice. nice. I got the perfect place for me. My it's naturally air conditioned. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, it's. Oh, that's great. Get the cold breeze from the water all and the that's time. That's worth the price of admission right there. Yeah. yeah I, it doesn't get hot in there. Good. I was going to put just a lighter blanket on my bed, you know, for this time of year, and it's been getting warmer, right? But no, I'm too cold. I yeah. still keep my comforter on. <laughs> That's great, because the heat is like, yeah. I can't stand heat. I can't even yeah. sit in the sun as long Do anymore. The truth. Uh, as I've gotten older, I, I know you've said I had color on my skin because I, I go outside frequently. But yeah. As it's gotten really warm the last week or two. Um, yeah. I love being in the sun, but it gets to be quite a bit much, certainly oh, within, a half, hour, within yeah. a half hour or so. And, I sit on my balcony yeah. whenever I get the sun on one side, and then if, when I get it on the other side, I'll sit there for maybe yeah. 15 minutes, oh, that's good. it, and then oh. I come in. Look at this balcony, that's cool. Oh, two balconies. Oh, like oh, you're a corner suite, right? Yeah. Yeah, my mom told me that. Yeah. The whole corner is oh, balcony. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. <laughs> I could put a lot of stuff on there. I hardly have anything on there. I, I'm looking for chairs yeah, yeah, and stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah, but cool. anyway, you get to populate it slowly. Now you're settled in. Well, yeah. I just bought a nice hutch from my dining room. Good. Now I'm looking for a coffee table, which I can't find. Oh, yeah, get to find the right coffee table, right? It's to find the right. Yeah. They never have nice ones. Yeah, it's all. No, that's, yeah. everybody's looking for coffee tables. You'll table. often see like old ones that are nice, yeah. yeah. Or you'll go yeah. into someone's home and they'll have a nice coffee. You'll think, where did you get that? You but know? it has to be, well, I think I'm going to wait till I find a, I'm, I want to buy a sectional to fit. Yeah. I got a big living room, right? Yeah, that, yeah. So I get the feeling you get a lot of pretty good square footage. Oh there. yeah, it's it's nice and big. So you never live in small places, do you? No. I guess well, I need a two bedroom, and yeah. most of the two bedroom apartments are a oh. good size. Oh right, of course, yeah. Yeah, so I I want a sectional so, so that I can sit a lot of people. Oh, look at her. Yeah. Oh That's my great. God, too cute. Those are the times you remember. It's good. Oh, I love the little kids. They're yeah. so sweet. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. yeah. I That's love good. babies. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've got babies still. You've got your granddaughters. <laughs> well, now. they're not babies anymore. Well, they're not babies anymore. But... Well, seven and eight, yeah. you know, and I don't see them very often. Yeah. Only when Kevin comes down. Okay. So. I assume they're doing well, though. Eh? They're, they're healthy and good. Oh, and yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're doing fine. Of course they are. Yeah. Yeah, we had a good time. They yeah. came, my son came down. When was it? Oh, God, I can't 
on uh, April. Okay. I had just moved in my place yeah. when he came four days later. So he's making uh, you know visits once or twice a year. Yeah, that's pretty good with his well, schedule. So, yeah. That's about all he can do yeah, yeah, because he, work, he's, yeah. now he's yeah. working yeah. steady. You know, so it's the busy time of the year. Everybody and it's says expensive says to not fly. Not everybody's kids come and see, see them every, you know, even every year. You know that, right? Yeah. So I know. that's pretty cool. Well, yeah. Like he, a he lot just, of people don't do that. He, so. them. he talks to them twice a week oh, okay. on uh, Skype, right? Oh, right. They, they call him on yeah. Skype twice a week. So th at least there's that communication all the time. But um, then after, you know, it was eight months the last time he came since he had seen them. So they they were getting a little bit sad. They were Girls starting to dad. miss him, yeah. and so was he. He was pretty down. And once he saw them, we had a good time, you know. Does she still have full custody? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, my son never really fought that. He okay. didn't intend to take the kids away from her, you know. Yeah. That was never his intention. Yeah. But you. He would have liked to see them more often. When they, when he was around here, he still could only see them once every two weeks. Yeah, no, I mean, and only for two days. You know, like she would never go for more. Yeah. Now she's lucky if he gets four days, <laughs> even when he comes from Ottawa. So she's staying strong on that. Mm -hmm. It's just a control thing. She likes to control everything. Yeah. Anyway. No, I've got uh, friends who've divorced, and uh, it, it it never seems to be uh, go well for for, the, for them. Very few yeah. people can uh, so seem to handle divorce well, where they agree on certain things, and you know what I mean. And the thing is, it makes it harder for everybody. They don't realize that going in front of a judge is the worst thing, because well, yeah, keep all that out of the that. judges don't care, you know. Or yeah, so it's. You know, any situation where a parent uh, loses out on contact with their children, the system has failed, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. It's always or, or useless to begin with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm glad that the, they are still... Anyway, oh, they love their dad, they I'll tell you. Dad. And he's good to her, her kids, you know what? his stepkids. I will you know? tell you this, and I'm sure most people would agree, I would rather have a dad that just aches to see me. Yeah, than yeah. Than a crappy dad. That's, well, exactly. Any day of the week. Oh, well, sure, of yeah. course. So At least they know when involved. they come. Yeah. They're going to have a good time, Absolutely. you know? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We, they we know just, their love. They know their love. Yeah, yeah. we just spend doing uh, the yeah. time doing things with them, and we and don't do They'll be more else. attached to their dad when they get older, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. As they'll soon as they get the chance, they'll be like, going to dad's. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. they, eventually they'll be old enough that she might let them travel by, by plane yes, yes. to Ottawa, because it would be nice if they could go there once in a while and see where he lives, because they love his girlfriend. They just love it. Let's go. It's doing well. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, you've spoken very highly of her. Yeah, they get so they get along so well. Those two, they're they're a perfect match. Too bad he didn't get that the first time. <laughs> Many men and women say the same thing. Yeah, well, my brother, his second marriage has turned out really nicely. Yeah, the first one well, was just know, uh, the first one. <laughs> we picked the for the wrong reasons, right? I guess so. Maybe there's a book on that or something. Well, geez, it's just all you know, passion the first time. Like it's just, it's all about sex the first. Time. I bet you a lot of people uh, that maybe is, oh, yeah, uh, a lot of people who had second marriages would maybe say, yeah, the first one is like a practice or something. I don't know. Yeah, like you just it make is. you make all your mistakes the first time. Yeah, be, well, most of the time because we get married, married too young. Yeah. You know, well, yeah. so like I just I've turned marriages. twenty when I got well, married. Yeah. Like, geez, at twenty you're just a kid. Yeah. You have no life experience yet. <sighs> yeah. So you know. They probably never even lived with someone at that age. No. Yeah. Oh, they, they love the ponds, eh, the little yeah. kids? Oh, my God, all this water to play in. I would love the ponds, too, if I was a parent, because they can't drown them. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it's something perfect. about the ocean, you just can't really quite relax when they're out there. Yeah, they can have fun there. Oh, I know, my grandkids loved it in there. Oh, well, I suppose I'm, I made it a, a promise better. to myself yeah. to walk every morning before it gets too hot. Yeah, this is, I can't this is stand the magic to walk hour. In the heat. Oh, I won't bother going. So in the afternoon, I stay home. So instead of practicing piano in the morning, yeah. I go out in the morning and I'll yeah. practice in the afternoon Good. when I'm nice and cool in my place. Perfect. Yeah, then you get maximum cool. Yeah. Well, there's a... You know, you think I had nothing to do, right? But, you know, like... I'd be walking today, but I, I, I gibbled my feet a little bit yesterday. I stepped on uh, some coral. So it's oh. not too bad, but I, I can walk, walk on it. You feet? Well, yeah, but, you know. Yeah, I hate walking bare feet. I, I didn't just, it wasn't just walking bare feet. I was, I was hiking in bare feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, you know, I, I asked for it, don't worry. 
Yeah, but, yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, yeah, but uh, I like going barefoot out here during the summer. Uh, yeah, but I, you, I you wouldn't take your risks, because you take I'm, your chances. I'm, there's needles oh, in yeah, places. Found You've them. found needles. You've found, found some right. Yeah, so I tell people, <laughs> yeah. be careful. But uh, the city, but, actually, I met a guy. The city hires a guy, actually, to come looking around for needles. Yeah. So, thank you. sad, eh? Yeah. I mean, you just get a little kid who walks on one but of those. But generally, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure that the needle users can find their habit to along here. Uh, but I have found them down the here. Or the very end. Or the very end. Because they, they like to there. be away from people. They right? sit yeah. at the okay. picnic table yeah, up right, there. Okay. And, you know, that's where they Now, there's they disposal are, so. units in bathrooms now. Yeah. So if, if they're, you know, you know, they just dispose of them. I mean, gee whiz. Yeah, then it's I like, know. at least you're not hurting us. <laughs> so. Exactly. I don't care what they do, you know. Yeah. Smoke so, away if you like, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I do. But good. anyway, well, congratulations. Uh, Lovely. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You look good. Thank you. You're you too. Good. Well, you yeah, I'm very my, healthy. Thank you. So nice to hear because my, my health has been a bit iffy over the yeah. winter, so I appreciate I that. Do it feel a lot better, though. It's nothing too serious, but yeah, I have my issues. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. you look really, thank you. really good right now. Thanks very much. You'll yeah. have all the girls stopping around to see you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll just stay here then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you later. Thank you. Thank I you. Well, I'll see you soon. I'll yeah, see you soon. You probably don't have my phone. But I'll, I, I see you all the time. It's now that you're in town here, because well, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm around all the time. Here every day, yeah, right? yeah. Good. Good. See good. Ya. All right. Good you too. Hi there. If they want to say hi, that's okay. Take a sniff. Lift your leg. There's lots of cool places. Yeah, she says, I, I need to stretch my legs after being on the bike. Oh, she's a wily one, eh? She's a uh, good shape there, eh? Yeah, she, she loves to go for bike rides. So good. That's oh, that's good. great. Yeah. yeah. Come on, we're going this way. Let's go this way. <laughs> Come on. No, this way. Come All right. On. Do you, want, do you want me to watch your bikes for you for a while? Okay, no, yeah. no. I'll be here for about 20 minutes, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I will be here for about 20 minutes, so I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye. Yeah. For sure. yeah. But, uh, but don't walk in bike. I do one or the other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's a good idea. I've lost bikes. I'm a rider myself. Yeah. 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 Well, this is our first time out this year, so. Good. Uh, I'm sure I'll pay for that this afternoon. <laughs> You got comfortable seats though. That's what you got to do. Yeah, right? That's right. Yeah. And then you see see the fancy seat on the front bike there for the dog. Too. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad that the dog is in front of you like that. That's yeah, great. yeah. You don't you don't even know she's there. She's, oh. she's tied in five times. She got five belts over her. Oh, good. Yeah. Matter of fact, she she just got hit this morning. The motorcycle putting her yard. Uh. You know, the bloody dog sitting up on the front like that. It's, uh, she went flying, the dog would have still been in the bike. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, uh, I, well, I, she's not wanting to go now because I'm not going to. Uh, she just hates to see us parted. You know, I know what that's like, yeah. What's the matter? Don't come because you're there. <laughs> they need the pack. They need the whole pack. Yeah. See? Sadie. Sadie. What's the matter? Sadie? Aw. <laughs> Aww. Oh, what a great dog. 
Come on. That's a great one. I like how pack conscious they are. It's great. Oh yeah, very yeah. much of that one. As a matter of fact, we we'll go someplace and I hey. do something. Hey. Oh, look at you! <laughs> you almost that made it. Just... That was close. <laughs> the one meter high jump there yeah. from standing position. Excellent. <laughs> totally focused on you guys. That's great. Oh, yeah. 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 If we go for a walk someplace and then, then say she's got an appointment or I got an appointment, I say, okay, we'll see you when we get back home. Now we split. You got to carry her for better ways to, because she won't move. Oh. You're stubborn, aren't you? Yes. That's you. Yeah, this is in good shape. That's cool. I like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little overweight, but she's all right. She's enjoying, all right. Yeah, ours is a lot more overweight than that. So. <laughs> yeah, she's supposed to be seven, but she's nine, so. Not too bad. Only oh, a okay. Pounds. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I good. say it's muscle because she yeah. hikes everywhere with us. I would agree with you. I could tell that she's 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 athletic. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. much so. Yeah, very much so. She's I could tell that right away. You can see that. I've got an older dog, so yeah. you, I really notice young dogs now or youthful dogs because mine can can't move around too much. You know? Yeah, but, this one here has just yeah. your miles, and if you try to pick her up, she just gets mad. She's annoyed. At right, she's a wolf, basically. She's she's she a wolf. To walk. We got a special pack. We go hiking with. It's a doggy pack, you know. That I can put her. Oh, in. you guys are so awesome. That's good. Yeah. You guys are very active. She it's cool. does not want to go in it. She oh. will when she gets older. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she knows it's there. It we haven't thrown it out. <laughs> hey, Sadie. 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 Okay, I want to say hi to you. Let's, let's say hi. How, how old is your dog? Uh, like 17. Oh. Yeah. Uh, like... Bichon. So, oh, yeah. Okay. Hoping another year or two, but it's all hope at this point, right? So, yeah. So. yeah. They're blind and deaf. And... Um, thankfully, uh, not doing too bad. The ears, I think, have been the first to go. Okay. The, the hearing a little bit, but the sight is there, and yeah. uh, and and the, the, I don't know. I don't know what his nose is like. I, I assume it's okay. He likes to sniff around all the time. Yeah. 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 Taste buds probably. I mean, dogs don't have taste buds basically. Just anything. Except for this one. <laughs> let me know if I bought a dog food she doesn't like. But she um. Refuses to <laughs> we've kept, we've kept like you have, we've kept Buddy active, even yeah, though, act, yeah. So I think that's been really good. The joints are acting up, but yeah. yeah. But at that age, they're going to. Yeah. Well, this one here, what's the supposed? The first thing you're supposed to go on these are their teeth. The teeth are supposed to be the first thing that goes. Oh, actually, that's actually the worst part for Buddy. Yeah, he's had a lot of his removed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got this stuff we put in her water. Yeah. And. Uh, she actually drinks it. She actually drinks the water. Good. Me, so I mean, it's quite obvious. It's got no taste to it, but keeps your teeth white and strong. Okay. And because I said to the vet, I cannot brush her teeth, you know, no way. So anyway, we found this stuff in, at the uh, Pet Smart and okay. it's really been working. Oh, her teeth are that. really white. Excellent. Good. I didn't know yes. there was a product out there. I can't think of the name. I'm um, just trying to think. But it's got a picture of a... Like a I'll go and uh, check. A, it's a white bottle and yep. it's got a picture of a border collie on it and cool. it's something clean. Good. Pro clean or right. But if you look, yeah. you look where the teeth things are in like a pet smart, and it's a white bottle. And yeah. the border Not, collie really happy on the front. I'll remember that. Yeah. Oh, I know border. I know border collies, so yeah, that's good. They're yeah, they're happy dogs. It's yeah, not, it's not cheap, but you just put yeah. such a little wee bit. We're just gonna do a little bit every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's only needs a little bit. Right. I think a bottle lasts us what about six months, doesn't yeah. it? It's, it's you only put a smidgen in. Yeah. But, uh, she only gets it once a day, so when she's drank that water, then that's it. Right, watch watch oh, it. Don't move, Don. There's a bead on it. There you oh. Go. He was just he was liking the shorts there. Yeah. Well, no, that's fine, but I thought, I thought she was falling or something. Yeah. I wanted to grab her. No, no. <laughs> yeah, they are about. Well, should we move? She would walk if we walk the bike. Yeah, it's too cool. And we can go further up here. Oh, Maybe yeah. find a coffee. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the food trucks are here. They, yeah, they, are they there? They should. I think they're here pretty early. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, they should be here by 10, now. They yeah. should be having coffee yeah. there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey. Okay, I'm gonna come over and say hi to you, okay? Because we haven't sniffed each other. Yeah. What do you say? I'll check you out. <laughs> you yeah. got, I'm not gonna take you away. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have love. No fear. We she's took great. Her to our, we took her to our dear friends the other day. We were doing a supper, and the people were coming over weren't very dog friendly. So I boarded her out for a few hours, and she was quite upset. 
Because normally when we go to their place, we're there. And we went and dropped her off. So it took a full day the next day to win her back again. <laughs> <laughs> AC8, you ready to go on the boardwalk? Ready to go? Yep. Okay. Hey, ready to go on the boardwalk? She's okay. great here, here. temperament. Wow. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, sure. Just put and it's not even, um, I'll just, 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 just so I, I give you my feedback, like her, her behavior is like, doesn't even have a note of anxiety to it. It's no. pure loyalty to you. Oh, it's exactly That's really what nice. it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No very, very about nice. It. Yeah, very yeah. nice. Yeah. 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 Whenever oh, yeah, we're she, going, she wants to go. She does not want, she, if, if we unload, unload the suitcase or something, she's right by the door. Is that, is yeah. that a breed related issue or is that this know. particular, I, this I like this, I like had. that attitude. We've never had a small dog, we've always had setters. Oh, okay. oh nice. Got to keep them running, running, yeah. right? If they're not running, like yeah. they're eating something, right? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, they're the greatest temperament. That, uh, we had a bed and breakfast for years. Yeah. So we had setters because you know the kids could come and pet them, and you know you never had a fear, right? Of course, yeah. 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 But uh, we're in a condo now, so setters are passe. <laughs> so it's the first time we've had a small one. <laughs> well, it's great. All those years of just uh, just have knowing how to how to have a dog as part of your family oh, is obviously yeah. that this one's getting the That's full right. benefit of that yeah. oh yeah she is so there's yeah. no two ways about it let me tell you a lot of people want to come back as our pet i find that i find <laughs> that they nice die, they want to come back as barb's dog <laughs> nice people have nice dogs usually. yeah, yeah. that's right yeah. all right anyway, have a great right. day there we go. Right. yeah getting a lot of video logging done here. God, I chose like the, the, the social hub of Parksville Beach here. That's where the eagles usually go. Started my Grand Celtic cross out there, but it hurt my feet yesterday. I decided to trounce through the incoming tide along uncertain territory, rock strewn, coral strewn beach, swimming and walking and whatever, to try to find my way back to a certain position on the beach and ended up walking back because the tide was in along a rock strewn uh, shoreline with uh, just my bare feet. So <laughs> injuries were sustained. <laughs> So I'm just sitting it out today, sitting her out. I had um, I was forced to go to a Sunday school when I was a kid, and I was forced to go to uh, church uh, camp for boys, or brigades, I think they called it. These are men who had absolutely uh, no training uh, with children. All you have to do is want to hang out with them, which pretty much includes all the pedophiles of the world, um, to spend time with young men. And all they ended up doing really was mentoring the two richest um, and maturest uh, men in the group. That's all they ever did. Two of the three of the, the richest or most privileged white males in the group got all their attention. And uh, I watched other, you know, visibly poor families come into this social environment and we just completely ignore it most of the time. It's not even a Christian thing, it's a people thing. You know, but you see a lot of these Christian churches have totally untrained. You see there are Mark Kent's churches of war where totally untrained and unmonitored people interact with vulnerable, other vulnerable people. You got spirituality, you got religion, uh, you even highly trained doctors. I wouldn't, you know, I've never met one that didn't make me horrified. They, they don't, they're not really developed people, and you can't be if you want to be a doctor. They're really good for psychopaths, though. I mean, every doctor I've ever known, every chiropractor I've ever met was a psychopath. Um, they're great. Just try talking to them about emotions and see what happens. Wait. Psychopaths don't do emotions. They certainly don't do talking about them. On any level, not even medically.
Anyway, uh, Louise, that woman that came in, that's actually the, the briefest, easiest conversation I've had with her a long time. And the reason for that is that I've been avoiding her for months and years. And she's lived out of town until recently, so I never see her. Um, but all she does is talk about the same things every time. But of course, she's an older person. This doesn't make someone a narcissistic psychopath. But I, I just don't want to go through all the examples that show that she's a narcissistic psychopath. She just She's only ever thinking about herself at any time. She was talking about marriages, for instance. Well, she's... She's a sexually undeveloped woman. Uh, you know, when she said it's all about sex, it was all about sex for her. If that was anything, that was the, probably the most curious part of the conversation. Um, you know, it was all about sex for her. The narcissistic women I've met, it's often just about sex. It's quite common to make it just about that more hedonistic uh, part of men. I mean, hell, you could make a day just about that. You could make a weekend about that, but you don't make a fucking marriage about that. Maybe some people could, but I mean, it's not something that I would assume that, that everybody does. Put it that way. 